Okay, that's everything you need to know about the, the imports. Let's uh, talk about setting the parameters and then performing some, some further initializations here. This first part here is really important because um, using these lines of code here, you actually select a file name from, from the Waymo open data set. Um, it has this lengthy number here and um, you can actually download this, this by yourself. How to do this um, is uh, the content of one of the actual lectures of one of the chapters. But we assume that you have downloaded these three files locally to your machines if you execute this on your personal computer. And um, we have to rely on you using this actual string here or this actual file here and use it as sequence number one. Because when we tell you, let's say, use sequence number one frames 10 to 15, this is what you need to do. Uncomment this line here and then put frames 10 to 15 in this, in this small list here. If we instead say, okay, let's execute frames zero to 200, this is what you need to do. And if we want you to choose, um, let's say sequence number two, comment this out, comment this one in here, and then you go, then there you have it, sequence number two. And we again rely on you to have downloaded this file to your computer. And how to get this um, is very conveniently explained to you in one of the chapters. But let's, let's uh, revert this to using sequence number one and also frames, let's say five or zero to five or zero to 10 maybe. Okay, here we go. Um, the this pause time um, actually lets you pause between visualizations, for example, to wait for a key press. If you put zero there, there which is what we will do now, um, the system pauses the execution and waits for you to press, let's say the space bar or enter. If we put a 10 there, it's going to wait for 10 milliseconds before it shows you the next frame. So um, to show you what's actually happening, let's revert this to zero and um, then stop the system after we um, have looked looked sufficiently uh, long enough at a certain at a certain uh, visualization for example now we come to the actual loop over all the different frames of the Waymo sequence we are currently loading um, so the loop executes here while this is an infinite loop while the system tries to load a certain frame and um, this is a convenient iterator which we are using to iterate over the content of the data file which we have been loading up here, this one here, it actually loads the data file using a function called Waymo data file reader, which is uh, within the simple Waymo package, which I talked about. And this is used to iterate over all the Waymo frames. So each time this line here is executed, you will get another frame. And then we increment the frame count and print the currently used frame, which is, which is being processed. Okay, that's basically it. That's the major loop. Let's scroll down to the bottom. And here you find this exception, which I was talking about earlier. This is the stop iteration exception. And once the last frame number has been reached, or the, 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 the one after that actually, when there is no next frame to iterate over, then this exception is thrown and the system terminates the infinite loop. And um, this is the end where all the frames have been processed. There's actually one exercise which relies on you to execute a certain number of frames, which is about performance evaluation. So this is this one here, and this is called once all the frames have been processed, once all the information on frame-wise performance has been gathered, and this, uh, this function shall be called then. This is um, part of a lesson two exercise, and we're going to talk about this uh, later on.